ready to go on our uh, maiden voyage with Zuri 3. <laughs> well, we're going to leave tonight. We, we tried to leave. We have a weather window to get down to Cartagena. So we want to get going as quickly as possible. Show me that app. What are you using? We're using Windy. And Windy is an app that gives us different weather for different days. For example, at 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, we have a really easy run. If we touch there, it tells us that the wind there will be 6 knots as we head down towards Barcelona. There's Barcelona. And then we're going to keep going all the way down to Cartagena, which is here. So we have a weather window and uh, we're going to use it to get to Barcelona, to Cartagena where we have a, 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 a slip booked and we'll get ourselves together for the last run from Cartagena across to Gibraltar over there. So uh, med weather is a little bit unpredictable but uh, we think we'll be fine. Well we've been um, going through a lot of the systems and stuff on the boat. Sorry about that, I've got a cold. Um, all the systems on the boat and checking things out, finding out where um, how different uh, parts work and uh, then we provision the boat. We've been to the grocery store umpty nine times. It's been quite back and forth <laughs> and accumulated quite a bit of uh, things that we'll need for the trip. We've packed everything away. Never going to find it again, but it's all <laughs> packed away. So that's the most important thing. It's not going to fly around. So Stephen, um, you spent a, a lot of time with the technicians from Katana and uh, uh, of course the, the, the guys who, who got the boat ready for us uh, commissioned it. Um, tell us a little bit about what the systems that you checked and why. Well we went through every system from engines to water maker to autopilot, all the plumbing, all the electrical, sales operations, um, essentially the autopilot, how everything functions. So. Luckily it's not our first rodeo so we've got a pretty good handle on things and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how, how, how much we listened uh, tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow when we get out there. But uh, I think we'll be fine. Alright, so I'll leave you guys out there for a bit. I've got Linda here over in the galley and uh, we've been prepping meals <laughs> the last day or so trying to just get ahead of the curve because our guys eat quite a bit when they're on passage. And uh, so Lila, show me there, what, what do you got going? We have Whoa, awesome does that ever look good? meatloaf. Yay! With some bacon wrapped over the top. That looks amazing. Perfect for dinner and then yeah. sandwiches if you need nice it. Nice salad. So, so the ideal is, Linda, to keep the crew happy, right? They love to be fat, yes. <laughs> keep them very happy. What have you been up to the last few days? Ah. Quite a bit. Be, uh, organizing, I think, is probably one of the biggest things to make sure you understand where things are located on the boat. So when you need to get them, you're not wasting time going through different cupboards. Um, going through medical supplies, because that's important. Also, life jackets, um, line, tether lines, making sure that we have the safety gear, checking the list for that. So, okay, so we're setting off around 12-ish tonight. Uh, the weather is, or the wind is, uh, is forecasted to lie down a little bit. So as soon as it, uh, as we see that it's uh, that it's calming down a little bit, we're going to head out of here, out of the marina, and get some, uh, uh, make some westing. Oh, these conditions are just getting worse and worse. The build, the sea is building, uh, and the wind is uh, picking up. Um, it's uh, fortunately following winds, but. Uh, trying to get to, into a marina by around 2 p.m. We're hoping it's our ETA uh, to get out of this nastiness. Um, this was predicted um, to come up today, uh, but we, we just had to make some, some wasting so, um, to get out of the Mediterranean because obviously it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a winter time now, so you know, conditions are just going to get worse and worse and uh, it'll get more and more difficult to, to get out of Gibraltar if we, don't, uh, if we don't hustle and get down there now. So 
we probably after today we'll have another 300 and some miles left to go to uh, Gibraltar and uh, so we're going to sit this out for about two days I guess is what it is uh, at the moment and then um, we'll, we'll get out it's supposed to be flat calm after that and uh, for, for next week or so so uh, we'll get back out there and get to Gibraltar provision and then head out to uh, to Madeira I'm about to go out in this weather I'm going to get up to the, to the fly bridge and go and have a chat with the guys up there to see what's going on but it's raining Okay gang, I'm about to go and break this weather right now. Ooh, not so far. Uh. Okay. waiting and waiting for the weather but it's not getting better. Are you all sleeping? <laughs> Whew. It's nasty. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry. Woo! My, how look at this. Woo! Not what we want to do today, huh? <sighs> so, jeez, my goodness, this is this is rough. I've been waiting downstairs, I thought, well, maybe it'll calm down, maybe the rain will go away, but no, not so much. Closure is worth every penny we paid for it, and it was a lot of money.
arrival. It's gonna be a little while. get about 25 knots in that section and so uh, you know it was a surprise that we picked up what was a surprise is that it got as high as 45 knots but uh, you know it was according to plan there was no danger the boat handled it remarkably well we were tracking down the swells you know without any issues so it was just you know it was one of those things where the winds were a lot stronger than we expected but at least from the right direction so it happens well I felt very safe on the boat. The boat was fine. There wasn't any problem there. I kind of kept was keeping an eye on the wind indicator as it kept spiking higher and higher. I wondered when it was going to stop clapping. <laughs> we actually had all the canvas down and the wind was blowing through the bottom of the where the door is and blowing up into the cockpit and the rain that was pelting the uh, the plastic here sounded like gravel hitting it. So it was cranking pretty hard. But overall, the boat's very, very comfortable. Rides beautifully. It's calm. It's, it's, it's smooth and it's very quiet. Um, it's really a remarkable boat. And this design, I think, is, is, is kind of well, you know. When I first saw it, I thought, where the hell are the nets? But uh, I think I've converted now. It's actually really nice working the foredeck because before you used to walk on the nets and the nets would curl your toes up in the air. And this has got a nice beautiful sun deck on it, all padded and everything so you can move on the front deck, look up in the air. You don't have to worry about stepping down in the little holes. It's all nice and flat. Well, I have to put those cushions on for you, don't you? Oh, so I'm at your age, you put your toes are brittle. So yes. you definitely want to have uh, have a nice, a nice, a nice soft working area for you up front there. In you case know? I fell down, I wouldn't get bruised. Yes, very valuable crew member is our Donald. 